during the day when you are fasting. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us in the hadith that alongside giving up food, drink and sexual relations, you must also give up another three things. Did you know this? You must give up another three things in order to fast correctly and completely. What are these three things? And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that the first one is قول الزور. قول الزور therefore means false speech, evil speech. That's the first thing that you must refrain and keep away from. That means we're not allowed to swear during the day as we are fasting. We're not allowed to tell lies. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us this in the hadith. The second thing in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said, وَالْعَمَلَ bih And evil deeds, evil actions. So evil actions include the glance of the eye. So that means the eye must fast with you. Avoid looking at the haram. We must give up al-amal bih. So that also includes the actions of the E. So your E must fast with you. You're not allowed to listen to something haram. If you want to achieve a complete perfect fasting, your E must fast with you. Music is haram. Do not listen to it. When we refrain from eating and drinking and sexual relations, the purpose of that is not to become hungry. And the purpose is for our taqwa to be nurtured. And notice subhanallah, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this hadith, he mentioned that we must give up evil speech before he mentioned evil actions. But yes, because this tongue is the thing that will bring a lot of people in Jahannam. It is because of the tongue that many people are thrown in Jahannam. يَوْمَ تَشْهَدُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَلْسِنَتُهُمْ وَأَيْدِيهِمْ When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that on the day of judgment, the limbs of a person begin to testify against that evil corrupt person. He said that the tongue will testify against him first, then his hand, then his feet. So control what you speak, control it. Umar radiallahu anhu, he wished that he had a long neck so that he can think about the word before it comes out. And the third thing in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us to keep away from in order to completely fast is al-jahl. Al-jahl. Al-jahl is two things. Al-jahl is ignorance. Ignorance. We need to give up ignorance. What does that mean? Ignorance is not implementing the knowledge that you know. So if you know that praying is obligatory, but you choose not to pray during the day of Ramadan, that is ignorance. You're not fasting completely. Your fasting is incomplete. And the other meaning for ignorance is the foolish, arrogant character oppressing others. That's impermissible, especially during Ramadan. If you bring out a foolish, arrogant character and you scream at others and you become jahilun alayhim, your fasting is incomplete. So don't argue with anyone. Don't swear at anyone. Don't raise your voice at anyone. And if someone becomes foolish towards you, and someone curses you, and someone wants to pick a fight with you, we're commanded that we respond to this person. But how? We say, Inni sa'im, inni sa'im. So when Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us, whoever doesn't give up false and evil words, and evil actions, and ignorance, and foolish behavior, Allah is not in need of this fasting person giving up his food and drink. Allah is not in need of you fasting. Allah is saying, I don't need your fasting. Meaning your fasting is not rewarded. That fasting is nullified. That fasting is not accepted. Allahu Akbar. Isn't the matter is serious. And this hadith is authentic. Collected by Imam al-Bukhari, rahimahullah, in his Sahih.